Hello, oh, no. uh, uh, uh. Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and today we're gonna do a little get ready with me using my favorite drugstore makeup right now. So some of this is brand new to the market, some of it is just new to me, and then a couple things I don't have, like there isn't a new highlighter, a new bronzer that I really love, so I'm just gonna fill in the blanks with some stuff that I already have. But for the most part, these are newer products, or just new to me, like I said. So first thing, here it is, the Wet n Wild Glass Correct Primers. I did do a video on all of the Wet n Wild primers, and I absolutely love these things. And it's been about five hours since I put my skincare on, so I could definitely use a little bit of a, a primer boost. Uh, the green one, it's supposed to color correct, but as you can see, it doesn't really have any green tint to it. I don't really notice it do that. I don't really see it have any green color correcting properties at all. It's just a nice, hydrating, glowy primer, and I really, really like it. So I only tried three new foundations this month. Let me move that out of the way. And uh, the other two I've already done a video on, that was the L'Oreal Age Perfect Tinted Balm. I love this stuff. And then of course the number seven uh, Restore and Renew Foundation. But the other one that I bought that I really, really like is the Neutrogena Serum Foundation. It says Pro Vitamin B5 helps maintain skin's moisture barrier for healthy looking skin. And then it says again, Pro Vitamin B5. I don't know why they wrote it right there and then they wrote it again right there for some reason. But this is what it looks like. I like this way better than the L'Oreal uh, Serum Foundation. Packaging. I mentioned this in my video, try this, not that. This packaging is way better than L'Oreal. So the dropper comes out very clean. So you're not like, it's not scraping off on the dropper, getting all over the bottle. I don't really know like how much to use. I kind of just drop it out and put it on. It's very, very thin, light coverage, as you can see, and I have the shade Light Medium 02. So there's one pump blended, one pump. I actually don't even know how much I use. Was it one dropper full? That's one dropper full blended all over. It's very light coverage, but I really like the effect. I like that it covers enough, gives me a little something. You can build it up, and it wears really nicely throughout the day. You can get nice coverage out of it, but I kind of just like to use it, just the one pump, and leave it as that. Um, so concealer, the only concealer I tried that I really, really loved is the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. I did try the Revlon one. What are they doing? That concealer is so eh. And then the, the sponge tip applicator that it has is so scratchy. I don't know if it's just me, but I have seen a few other people, um, use that concealer in videos and no one has mentioned that there's a scratchy but mine is so scratchy that i don't want to use it it's very very uncomfortable so that one's very meh this is the nyx serum concealer did i even show it to you i think because i just mentioned it in a video i didn't go out of my way to show it again uh this is really really nice slightly um it's a little bit emollient it is too light for me <laughs> as you can see but I wanted to use it anyway, just cause it's such a nice concealer, really nice finish, looks pretty on the skin, wears all day, little bit of hydration, but nothing over the top. And it looks great on the under eyes as well. And that was just one pump that I pumped out that I put all over my face and my under eyes. So a little does go a long way with this. Now that I blended it all out, I'm thinking like, wait, is it too light for me? I think it looks just fine now. I don't know. I'm gonna put a little bit more under my eyes though and like a little bit on my little blemish here that I have a little scar forming from. All right, so for powder, oh my goodness. The e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder is so good. Uh, I have here the shade Light. I think they have a couple of shades and they might have one that's translucent, I'm not sure. I have been wanting to try this powder for a long, long time but I thought it was gonna be like a highlighting powder and just like too over the top with the glow, but it's not. It is so, so good. I feel like this is the loose version of the Milani Prep Set and Glow Pressed Powder. I just feel like I get the same kind of effect where it sets your face, but it doesn't mattify. It doesn't add a bunch of shine. Actually, I'm gonna put it just on half of my face and see if you could see a difference. So here's this side set with the powder and this is without. So you can see it does slightly mattify. My face feels great with this powder on. It doesn't feel powdery, doesn't feel heavy. 
And even though this does have a color, the color light, um, it does obviously, as you can see, added like a little bit of whiteness to my face, but I feel like it tones down um, when I put some setting spray on and when I have the rest of my products on, you can't really see the white cast from the powder. If you have a skin tone any darker than me, I feel like the light one is gonna be too light. I think they have a translucent one. I definitely wanna try that one out, but this powder is so, so, so good. If you get the shade that's right for your skin tone, of course. Um, sets everything in place, just adds and keeps this nice little glow on your skin without looking like highlighter. I can't believe how good it is. It's so finely milled. It doesn't look powdery, doesn't look heavy at all. Even when I go overboard, it doesn't look heavy on my skin, although it does look really white when I put a little too much, but I really, really like it, so I overlook it. Um, I don't have a bronzer right now, so I'm just gonna use the one I can't put down. This is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder, and I hit pan. I cannot believe I hit pan on this. Well, I can, because I, I don't want to stop using it. I think it's the best bronzer ever for my skin tone. Um, but I didn't realize I hit bronzer. The other day I opened it to use it and there was a little hole in there and I was like, when did that happen? Why didn't I see it happen? I don't know. So I'm just gonna put bronzer on and I'll join you back here for highlighter. All right, I just love the color of this bronzer so much on my skin tone. I think it's just absolute perfection. So I don't have a blush and I don't even think I got one out. So I think I'm gonna use the Pacifica um, Cherry Cheek Powders palette. I love this palette so much. I use it all the time. I think it's so, so pretty. Uh, I think I'm gonna use this one. Let me find a clean brush. Is this one clean? That one's clean. Um, and I think I'm gonna go for this top color right here. It's called Cherry Spirit. I never put blush on before highlighter. I literally never do that. I don't know why I'm doing it right now. I don't know, something came over me. Um, and so I didn't get any new blushes or highlighters. There just wasn't anything that came out that really interested me or like I wanted to get it. So I've just been really enjoying what I have. And I pulled out this little baby from the vault this is from Wet n Wild. It's the Two Reflect Shimmer Palette. I got this, did I buy this last year this time or was it the year before? I got it at CVS. I did a video for Drugstore Month called What's Old at the Drugstore and I pulled out stuff I already had that was really old and I also purchased a few things and this was one of the things and it is so good. But it's not dry or flaky or chunky or anything like that and it's so beautiful. Fergie used to have like a little line with Wet n Wild and this was one of the things from that line and of course when I'm assuming her contract ended they kept some of the products and this was one of them they just kind of took her name off of it and called it to reflect shimmer palette and I love it I pulled it out the other day and I was like why don't I use this every single day I just love it all right let's get some brows on already I'm gonna put on the NYX Thick It Stick It um, brow gel I used this the other day in a video, like I put the gel on and then I let it set and then I put some powder on top, like the brow powder, and I really, really liked it. So I'm gonna do that again today. We're gonna do the brow gel. I keep calling it brow gel, but they call it thickening brow mascara, and I have here the shade Cool Ash Brown. And I love this stuff so much. It doesn't get all over your skin. It just gets the hair. I don't know how it does it because the brush looks like it's overloaded with product, but it only gets the brush hairs. I don't know how it works, but it is so lovely. So I'm gonna let that dry for just a sec, and then I'm gonna put some powder on top. And I did that the other day, and I really, really liked the way it looked. It totally eliminated the need for a pencil, which is great, because I was using a pencil I don't really like that much from Anastasia. Uh, so now I'm just gonna go in with some powder. I'm using an It Cosmetics brow powder, because it's the only one I have, and I love it. Sorry, it's not a drugstore product, but using what I have. And look how quickly that filled in. So easy. And the fact that the gel dries so quickly, you can go on top of with powder right away. And with every other brow gel, I can't do that. So if I wanted to make them a little thicker, fill in some spots a little bit more, I have to wait till I'm done with my makeup and then go back to the eyebrows. Because if I go with it right away, go in with the powder right away, It'll just mix with the gel and it looks just like a big mess. And I just love this stuff. I think it's wonderful. Look how quickly I did my eyebrows. I never do them that fast. Okay, for eyeshadow, I have something that I didn't even know existed 
from Rimmel. These are called Wonder Cloud All Day Wear Soft Shadows. So the first one I purchased was the one called Foggy Beige. I got these at CVS as well. And I think, I don't know if these were on clearance or Re Rimmel was just doing a big sale or if they're getting rid of Rimmel at the store because everything on the Rimmel display was like clearance prices. But there were no tags on it. I just bought one and it rang up a clearance price and I was like, what the heck? So I went back and got the other two. And then the other stores I went to, everything was on clearance. So I don't know what's going on with Rimmel. Maybe it was a sale. So these are in a little tube with a doe foot applicator. And when they call them soft shadows, they are really soft. And I wasn't expecting them to be as good as they are for how they feel. So this is the shade called Foggy Beige. I am wearing the heck out of this one. I put it all over the lid, then I get Shimmering Sands from CoverGirl, and I add it on top just for a little shimmer, and then I go in with a really colorful eyeliner, and I have been wearing the heck out of that all month. It's all I wanna wear. So that is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna wear one of these, but let me swatch the other ones for you that I have. This is the shade called Chilled Peach, just a really neutral kind of cream color. I don't really know how to describe colors at all. But there's that one there. And these do wear all day. I'm not gonna put any primer on today because the one that I've been using, um, the Morphe one, I think it's on its last leg. It has a one year shelf life and I've been using it for over a year now and it's so thick. It's almost empty, but it's, it's very, very thick and definitely, you know, at the end of his life, so I'm gonna get a new one. So right now I'm not gonna use any primer, but with these you don't need it. And this is the shade called Honey Drop, this one right here. They are opaque, but they're a light color. Like it's not gonna look really super intense on your eyes. They do wear all day, they do not crease at all. I'm actually so impressed with these. Um, I'm really glad I got all three. So what I do with these, okay. I just like go into my crease like this, with the little applicator. And then I just literally fill in the entire lid with the color. And it's so soft, like the applicator is so soft and it's slightly bendable so you can easily get it where you want it. And I'm just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go a little bit above and I'm gonna move it around with my finger just to blend out that edge. And that's it. Easiest eyeshadow ever. If you like something super easy, also light, like this isn't gonna be really intense smoky eye even though I'm coloring in my entire lid, you can see that it's a really light um, tone. And just blend out the edge. And there you go, eyeshadow is on. Um, I have built these up and I'm gonna put a little bit more on the lid. I don't know if these are meant to be built up like crazy because even though you build it up, it doesn't intensify the pigmentation at all. Um, it kind of just stays the same, but I find that when I try to build it up too much, it just looks like there's a lot of cream eyeshadow built up on my lid, you know? It doesn't look that nice, but two layers I think looks, looks all right. All right, so there's two layers of that one and I'm using the one called Foggy Beige. Um, you know what, let's go on the lower lash line a little bit. It's really slight, because I am gonna put on some colorful eyeliner, so I don't want anything too crazy. But I love these. Look at this like subtle definition I gave my eyelid. Um, I think it's wonderful. I have worn the heck out of all of these colors. All right, not sure how long I was out of focus there, um, but there is two layers of the one called Foggy Beige, just blended all over my lid. Easy peasy eyeshadow, I really, really like it. I also put a little on the lower lash line. So, eyeliner. So I talked about these eyeliners in, I talked about these in a video that I did called, it was Pacifica Top 5, Bottom 5, and I mentioned these eyeliners as one of the top five things. I have another color, I don't know where it is, but I have four of them, and they are the coolest, funnest eyeliners I own. They are, there's four of them. They're pastel colors. There's a pink one, a purple one, a blue one, and then there's like a green, like teal one. And all of them are so, so pretty. So they are a wooden pencil, so they're not gonna be like the smoothest thing ever. I don't find that it's very like dry, but they're not, the. you can tell it's a wooden pencil, okay? It has like the tiniest bit of dryness to it. But what I've been loving doing is wearing this on the lower lash line. I've been wearing this exact eyeshadow 
with a little bit of shimmering sands on top just for a little, you know, shimmer. And then I throw on one of these liners in this exact way. I just pick one, whatever one I wanna wear that day. Today, blue was the chosen one on the lower lash line. And then I get it here and put it on the inner like part there. Every now and then I will put some black liner on the waterline too because I think it just kind of balances out that color on the bottom. But most of the time, once I get mascara on, on the lower lash line, it kind of balances out because it adds that black little curtain of lashes on top of the eyeliner. And I just love it. So I'm going to leave it there. I am going to put some mascara on. A mascara that I've been absolutely loving is the Maybelline Curl Bounce. I really, really like this. I haven't heard anybody really talk about it. Um but I think it's wonderful, very underrated. It's a very dry formula. I also think the packaging is overkill, like it's way too big. It has a very basic wand, very dry formula, built on itself really well, um, but I absolutely love this. My camera battery is blinking, so I'm gonna throw on some setting spray. Of course, the Wet n Wild setting sprays I've been loving all month. I'm gonna use the natural finish one. I'm gonna put on the mascara and I will join you back here to wrap it up. So I put on the setting spray. I just really, really love this setting spray. I think it gives such a natural... The focus is all over the place today, but I put on setting spray. I love that it adds this like natural glow, really tones down any powderiness I had. And then I put on that mascara. I feel like I look a little, I don't know, 70s? I feel like my, my lower lashes are living their own life today, but I think it really tones down the blue. But yeah, that is it. Those are the drugstore products I have been loving using lately. Serum foundation from Neutrogena. Just a really solid, nice, lightweight serum foundation. Serum concealer from NYX. I think it worked on the face just fine, even though I feel like the shade is too light for me at times. Uh, Glass Correct Primer. That's a new favorite as well as this. Although they're not new to the market, they're new to me and I really love them. Standouts from the video though, I freaking love these liners from Pacifica. I think they are so fun and so wonderful for really pa pretty pastel shades. I know I'm only holding three, but there are four shades. Um, and I want to wear them every day. I feel like I'm, I'm welcoming spring into my life uh, with my eye makeup every day. And then this mascara needs some more love. The Curl Bounce from uh, Maybelline. It's very, very dry. If you like a dry formula, I think it builds well on itself. Um, it doesn't transfer up here to like the top of the skin. It doesn't smudge or smear or flake or anything. It's really, really nice. And then the Rimmel Wonder Cloud All Day Wear Soft Shadows. I think these are like an unsung hero. They hang on all day. So what I have on my lid right there, it will look exactly the same until I wash it off at night. No creasing, no fading whatsoever. Definitely like, like I said, unsung hero. I think they're really good. Especially if you just like one shadow looks, something so easy to use, easy to blend. Every single one of these works just the same. I think they're great. But yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you've tried any of these products, let me know your thoughts and opinions as always. Let me know some drugstore products you've been loving lately. I would love to know. But that is it. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.